Hey, y'all. So I just wanted to, um, everyone's talking about 2019, talking about new you, new resolutions, all the things, right? But um, something that is always a topic of conversation for me and my oily peeps, um, wellness goals. And so those are um, truly things that are to be goals that become habits and that are long-term sustainable. And so I listed some of my wellness goals for 2019. Some of them I've already had, as you guys know, um, walking every day. Today marks day 533 of walking every day for 30, 30 minutes. Um, but I've added a couple very um, specific ones for this year. And it's wellness goals as related to emotional slash mental um, as well as spiritual. And one of those goals... Um, because I want this goal to become a habit where it's just like, it's my default. And that is being grateful. And so every morning I want to wake up and think about at least one thing that makes me great, that I'm grateful for, to have that attitude of gratitude. And I need to track it because I need to feel like I'm accomplishing something. I don't know. That's just the, I guess, maybe that overachiever in me. But this is how I'm tracking it on this handy dandy cal calendar right here right? Um, and so thanks Shane for giving me this calendar so I can track it because I want this filled up and I want to be able to at the in, end of each day or the end of each week or the end of each month and definitely by the end of the year to be like, you know, these markers in time of showing um, what I've been grateful for. And I want to have that default of just being grateful, even when things are just the worst. I want to be, want to be grateful. And another thing that I started doing is, um, or something I've never done before is to make a plan and stick to reading the Bible in a year. Do you know how many times I've done that? And then um, I go on an international trip and I get all the chapters behind this year. I'm doing the app a little, I'm doing the Bible in a year in my U version app. So that's a little different for me. I'm, I'm like, give me the, give me the book, give me the paper. I want to read it, but I'm actually day three. I'm, I'm, I'm current. <laughs> Um, so those are, those are some of my wellness goals. Continue my daily walking, which I've been doing every day since July 24th of 2017. Um, and then just recommitting to eating better and dropping weight. So, um, because you know, the older we get, I'm 50, going to be 51 this year. The, I'll be real honest, it's just harder to keep the weight off. It's not an excuse. It's just the reality, right? Right. Um, just like the reality is as you continue to age, your insurance goes up. Seriously, when I turned 50 in 2018, my insurance went up by about $50 because I went from the 40, 40 to 49 bracket to the 50 to 59 bracket. And I'm like, y'all, I'm not even on any prescription drugs. I'm just saying. But at any rate, I won't get on that soapbox and you're welcome. That's a wellness goal right there. So for me to stay off, <laughs> to stay off the soapbox. But I just wanted to come out and encourage you to be like, what What are you thinking about for wellness goals? Not a New Year's resolution, but a wellness goal. And if you're like, what is a wellness goal? You know, wellness goal is seriously, you want to have, you want to be grateful every day. That's a wellness goal. You know, um, you want to drop some weight. That's a goal. But what I want you thinking about is like, what are you going to do to help implement those goals? I showed you how I'm tracking my um, gratitude. Um I track what every day I track what I eat. I track that I've walked. Um, and I, and I check in on a regular basis with that thing called a scale as well as that thing called a tape measure. Um, but those are ways to, you know, make sure I'm on track, but I also so appreciate the initiatives that my oily groups are always doing like the upcoming five day cleanse, as well as the year long, uh, wellness challenge really geeked about the year long uh, wellness challenge where we are taking months, just one month at a time and focusing on an area of our body to, um, really work and support. So I'm really excited about that, especially the one that this month for me personally, I think really, um, corresponds with the five day cleanse because you know what? Wellness begins in the gut. I'm just saying. <laughs> so be thinking about what are your wellness goals? And if you're like, I don't know what my wellness goals are. I don't know how to make a wellness goal. Um, and that's great. I've got this wellness goal. What do I do now? You know, feel free to reach out to me. Love to have a conversation with you. Um, and definitely if you're one of my oily peeps, 
girls, you know, I'm here to help you. If you're like, um, if you need to get your oil infused wellness on by getting that starter kit that has those foundational oils that are life changing for real life changing, kick me a message. I'll help you out. So anyway, have a great Thursday and I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to take off my long johns that I currently have on. I'm going to take those long johns on, put on some pants that I can actually wear outside (laughs) and I'm going to go get my daily walk on. So what are you getting ready to do? (laughs) 